You know, I think I found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. Anyway, what's up with you? Then what's the point of cooking it differently if it's just going to taste the same? But anyway, I'm ready to start researching the next chapter the for you, Brown. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. What do you mean? For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Hmm. Well, mole rats and mire lurks aren't that big of a threat to me. However, yeah, how can I be handling being injured? Could always help me. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. Uh, but obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if uh, I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Uh, uh, Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, uh, uh, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? I... Uh, oh, what could possibly be worth breaking my bones over? Did you know when bones break and reheal, they grow back tougher? In a way, you'd be repaying yourself. Once I make sure you survive, of course. But in a more tangible way, I can give uh, you a modified environmental suit of mine. How's that sound? How's that sound? Um, let me tell you how that sounds. First you send me on a goddamn scavenger hunt on a minefield. I blow my arm off, my leg off, my other arm, arm off, my head off, my torso, my leg off. Now, you literally want me to go out, get hurt, so you can do your little experiment. You know what I say? I don't think I want to do okay. that. Okay, I suppose we can put that one off for a bit. No, no. I, I need to tell you something, Brown. Well, I guess I can wait a little. Hmm. I've got plenty of other projects to work on after all. No, Brown. But come no, back soon and help no. out. It's for an important cause. I don't care what your important cause is. I just got one thing for you. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. All right, Brown. Here's where I crossed the line. You hurt me, you do unspeakable things to me, and then you plain out say, go get hurt and come back so I can study you. Here's my answer. You dirty. Screw you. And your mercenary? Yeah, I don't care. Yes, I killed her. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, you're dead too now. What about you? No, I'm not done with you, Maury Brown. Where the hell is your head? You. You cause so much pain to me. I don't even got, care if your goddamn head's on fire. I'm not done with you. No. No, this ain't this ain't over. This ain't over. No. No. You've caused so much pain for me. I'm done with you. No. I'm done. I don't even care if I blew my leg off right now. It's for, it's for a good cause. It's definitely for a good cause. I don't even know where her head is anymore. I just don't care anymore. I, I, I just don't care. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I don't care. I just, I just don't care anymore. I, I've had en I've had enough. Where are you? Well, the hell, where, where's your head? I believe your bits. I'm not. That's not good enough. Where, where's your head? Where's your head? God damn it! Uh, you know what? I we'll just have to settle for the next best thing. Get your fucking body over here. Get get over here. I'm not done. No, I'm not done. You've caused too much pain to me. Too much. You think you're gonna get away with that? No, I'm not gonna get away with that. <laughs> Screw you! Wait, wait, gotta get a better angle at this. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. Oh, this is so satisfying. Ah, oh, this feels good. No sexual reference intended. Ah, <sighs> no, not enough. Ah, <sighs> okay. Hope you rot. Billy says not to talk to you. Yeah, um, Maggie, don't go inside. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna skip down. I'm done. It spits on your grave. I'm out of here. <laughs>